All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Medium Pool Show. Today, we have an absolute banger of a video because we're traveling back to the year 1967 and we're taking a flight all the way to Rome, Italy, specifically Cinecittà. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Specifically Cinecittà Studios. Because today, we're going to be talking about a spaghetti western. And that film is Death Rides a Horse. Death Rides a Horse. When you've waited 15 years to find a man, it's a shame you can only kill him once. Directed by Giulio Petroni, starring John Philip Law, Lee Van Cleef, Luigi Pastilli, and the one and only Mario Brega. Yeah, so as far as spaghetti westerns are concerned, I would say this is up there for me. Yeah. With some of the best I've seen. Yeah. I think this is better. This is on the same level as for a few dollars more, in my opinion. It doesn't have, it has a different style to it. But it has everything you would want in a Western. Mm -hmm. Also, genre mixing, like the tropes. There's trope mixings within this Western. How? How so? You have this idea of the young gunslinger meeting the old vet, which is John Philip Law's character and Lee Van Cleef's character. And it's kind of a mentor-tutor relationship. Uh But also mixed within that, you have this revenge-o-matic film, which I love. Yeah. Which I hadn't really seen before. And they do it, they do both of them really well. Mm-hmm. And this is a really cool, badass movie to me. Yeah, it is really cool. I, I just love the opening scene where it's mm-hmm. like the gang ransacking mm-hmm. that little farm mm-hmm. and, and our main character survives it. Yeah. And he remembers every little detail yeah. about the gang. Mm-hmm. And then it's always like called back upon where it's like, oh, this tattoo's on the chest. Mm-hmm. Or that one guy's face. Or the spurs mm-hmm. on their shoes, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. I just love that shit. And it's so sick. And and right at the end of that opening sequence, you know someone saves that little kid. Mm-hmm. And you're like, I know right off the bat who it's going to be. Yeah. You know? But it's just so good, too. And I love that, it. yeah, it's set up like a... It's, it's a young guy and a mentor relationship. Mm-hmm. But they don't really want to fucking be friends. <laughs> no, they don't. They, they, yeah, they always like dissing each other. And that's kind of another thing is that they're mentors where, you know, they kind of, but then they kind of have this love hate relationship and they pretty much grow to like each other. And yeah. by the end, they don't actually kill each other. Yeah. Whereas in other sort of tutor mentor movies, such as Day of Anger, Lee Van Cleef plays an older guy mm-hmm. who trains a younger guy, but then in the end, they betray each other. Yeah. Where in this one, it's kind of the opposite. Yeah. Where they actually end up being with each other and yeah. even though Lee Van Cleef was somewhat responsible for the death of his entire family of this kid yeah they end up kind of parting ways because he did actually save his life you yeah. know and, and he did serve his prison time too mm-hmm. that's another thing like the gang fucking betray him mm-hmm. you're a little bit on Van Cleef's side in this mm-hmm. no matter what you did know you, also you're on his his side just because when you see him just stand in the frame he's fucking badass dude, dude. he's so bad and I love like a morally gray Lee Van Cleef, you mm. know? Like, in A Few Dollars More, he's great in that, mm. but he's a little bit too, like, goody-two-shoes of a guy, you mm-hmm. know? Whereas, like, Clint Eastwood kind of plays, like, the outlaw character. Mm. In this one, like, it's, like, the good, the bad, the ugly. He's, like, he's, like, just morally gray, but he's so fucking badass. Mm. Like, can't say enough about how awesome he is in every movie. Yeah. I just love this movie. It takes the typical genre of an Italian Western. They made so many of these movies, but I feel like it elevates it because it's just so well done, so cut and dry, so straightforward. And I just, like you said, those flashbacks that they have, the shootouts are dope as fuck. And I feel like the, the flashbacks that they do in this movie, when he's, he sees someone that's familiar and then it does the red and he sees... Doesn't music kick up too? Or yeah, something? the music kicks up too. And I think anywhere according to the soundtrack to this as well. Like, yeah. We have to yeah. say that, but... You know how it turns to red and then he, he starts remembering things? Yeah. That's definitely Kill Bill. They definitely took down Kill Bill. And the music yeah. in this movie is in Kill Bill as well. Yeah. It's an obvious sort of, you know, um, homage 
to to, to this movie because it's it's a sick ass sick ass movie. I love the shootouts. Yeah, I love the actors. I'm a big fan of John Philip Law just because Danger Diabolic is one of my favorite movies. Mm. And also, he's in Barbarella with Jane Fonda, which is another... I haven't seen either of those, but I need to, yeah. Yeah, they're, I, I love those movies a lot. Those sort of kind of sexy, sort of like Italian movies from the late 60s. And, you know, obviously Lee Van Cleef, he doesn't need an introduction. We have Luigi Pastilli, who plays the leader of the gang. Oh, I love him, dude. Isn't yeah. he in like... Um, what, um, he's in a lot of Italian movies. Your Vice is a Locked Room. Yeah, and yeah. Shit. he's yeah. in all of Giallo's. He's, he's a staple of the Italian genre yeah. films. He was in like... I think he was in A Few Dollars More as like a side character. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. and he's in uh, The Good, The Bad, The Ugly too. He is? Yeah, yeah. he plays like the priest who's Lee Van Cleef's brother. Oh, that's right. Or, or no, not Lee Van Cleef. Eli Wallach's brother. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And uh, you also have... Yeah, Luigi Pistilli kind of plays the gang leader who kind of, during Lee Van Cleef's time in prison, he becomes uh, a congressman or a politician or something and he kind of yeah. takes over this town yeah. for his own good. But yeah. he plans just to rob the entire town, then blame it on the fucking police people there, even though he's... He took all the money mm-hmm. and he's acting like, what the fuck happened? How could this happen in this yeah. town? We need to find the people and kill them. Yeah. Even though he's the one who did it. It's so wild because like Lee Van Cleef is like pretty much looking for him the whole time. And he mm-hmm. finally gets to the town mm-hmm. and then, all right, time to rob this place. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I've been planning this for years and now it's time to pull the trigger. Mm-hmm. And you're like, what the fuck? That's crazy, dude. Yeah. This guy's insane. Yeah. We got to mention Mario Brega, who is also in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And he's done a lot of a lot of Italian movies too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cause he, he kind of plays, he played in the good, about the ugly. He plays the guy in this, in death rise of horse. He plays one of the gang members. Isn't he like the gambler dude or something like that? He, uh, Who is he? He's the guy in the good, about the ugly. Do you remember when um, Eli Wallach gets tortured in the barn area by the, by the, not the Confederates, the, the union, mm. the, um, he gets, he gets, he gets tortured by a northerner and it's played by Mario Brega. Uh, and I think he only has one eye in it. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember that, but but I think the gambler guy you're talking about is like the older white dude mm-hmm. who 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 owns the casino. Yeah, John Philip Law gets his revenge on him. I think mm-hmm. right. He's always like giving everyone a fair fight. I yeah. love him as like a main character because he's clearly like a fucking amazing shot. Like he's like the best shot mm-hmm. in the movie for sure. But yeah. like, I love that it's like yeah, as good as he is, Lee Man Cleef is always like. Yeah, you fell for that, didn't you? That's kind of a learning lesson, you know? Like, he's always, like, he's not thinking like a criminal, mm-hmm. you know, which is, like, what Lee Van Cleef, like, brings his expertise to, mm-hmm. right? And then suddenly, like, they're better off for, like, each other, you know? Yeah, well, I think John Philip Law is the faster shooter. He has better reflexes because he's young. Yet, Lee Van Cleef has the expertise of a vet. Mm-hmm. You know, he has the this, this street smarts, you know, and they kind yeah. of combine. You kind of, like, they like, definitely bounce off each other. Yeah. But I, I do love the ending when they're gonna do the shootout and then he throws him the bullet. Yeah, I love that 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 kind of shootout. I kind of you know, it's, it's unexpected what happens in the end. We won't spoil it for you, but mm-hmm. yeah, Death Rides a Horse, nineteen sixty seven, guys. Mm-hmm. I, I highly recommend this film. If you want us to talk about more spaghetti westerns, leave a like. We're gonna talk about Once Upon a Time in the West soon. Yeah, and check out our other spaghetti western videos. We did the Dollars trilogy recently with Clint Eastwood, Sergio Leone. Oh, one other fact I have to say about this film is yeah. that the screenwriter, I think his name was, I don't want to say his name because I'm just gonna, it's like something Luigi something. I forgot his name. I'm so sorry. But we'll just dub it in. Dude. Yeah, he he had a falling out with Sergio Leone mm-hmm. during The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and he wrote this script for uh, Giulio Petroni. Damn, I yeah. know that. Yeah. yeah, he's a good writer. He's a great writer, dude. He is. You know? And I just love Italian movie genre pictures because they're so they're so well done and for their time they were just written off as like stupid cartoons to do, but they're really well made, all the editing, all the shots, the long lenses, you know. Yeah. Type type beat. Yeah. But yeah. The music. Mm-hmm.